Hello Storyboarders, my name is Eric and today I'm going to show you how to make a calendar using one of Storyboard that's pre-made templates. So let's get started. Now first we're going to pick out a calendar that we like. We've got a bunch of great options here, but I'm going to choose this one. I like its summary vibe. So let's just click the copy template button that's right below. And this will bring us directly into the Storyboard creator, which will then ask us to give our template a name. Now you can call yours whatever you would like. I'm just going to go with template one and click continue. All right, now we get to customize our template. This is where we get to add characters, items, update the text, make any changes that we want to. So first, I would like to add a character who is ready for summer. This feels very summery, so let's have a very summery character. So let's go to our characters menu. I'm gonna search under kids, and we got a whole bunch of great options, but I think I'm gonna use the filters to help narrow down my search. So let's select shorts, somebody who's definitely ready for summertime. And let's go with this character here. So to add a character, simply drag and drop them into your storyboard. And now we get to customize. This is where we get to update pose, facial expressions, angles, colors, whatever it is we want to do. So we're gonna have our character ready for summer. Have him looking up at the calendar. And when you're all done, just click the update pose. And there we go. Now you can move your character anywhere you would like within your storyboard, as well as resize them. Just drag the corner of the image. All right, and there we go. Let's just tuck them in right here. And we're gonna move this bottle of suntan lotion. All right, all set. And we're gonna close out our filters box just so we can see what we're working with. All right, now next, let's go over items. Now you can search items in the items menu up top and go through any one of these fun categories, or you can search for something specific in the upper right hand search menu. Now our character, they're ready for summer. Maybe they are making some s'mores. So let's go through our food category. And I know fun desserts and treats are towards the end. All right, we have a marshmallow on a stick. That's perfect. So let's just drag this item down. Let's make it a little bit smaller so it's pretty realistic. And we're gonna rotate this so it fits in their hand well. So to rotate an item, and you can rotate characters as well, is just drag this center top button and to turn. All right, perfect. Now next is the background. Now we have this nice simple blue background and we can change the color if we want to. Just select it and you can change it to whatever color you would like. But I think I'd like to add a fun design. So let's delete this. So to do so, make sure your scene is selected and go to this delete button in the right. All right, now let's go to scenes. So we go up to our scenes menu. I'm gonna go over to the patterns category and let's scroll over to find a pattern we like. All right, I think this is pretty fun. Feels kind of summary to me. So we're gonna drag this down and I'd like to turn this uh, 90 degrees clock counterclockwise. So we have this nice gradient going up. So if we go over to rotate, let's turn it that way and we're gonna click stretch to fill. This will allow us to have our scene fill the entire frame, so that way we don't have to stretch it manually and then reposition it, so this makes it a lot easier. So let's go with non-proportional and click OK. All right, our scene is in place, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna send this all the way to the back so we can see our calendar. So click send all the way to the back. All right, and that looks pretty good. But I wanna change those colors. We got a lot of blue going on with our header here as well. So let's select some new fun colors. All right, I think that looks pretty good. It feels very summery. So last but not least, let's go over text. Now you can edit any of the pre-existing text boxes. All you have to do is select and put in your own words. So this feels like the month of July. So let's change this to the month of July for the title. All right, that looks pretty good, but I'd like to change the font and let's have the center justified again. So to do that, just to highlight what you would like to change and let's change this to a new font. All right, this feels really fun. And let's make that a little bit smaller. We can do all of this in our text editor right here. Make that 48. And if we change our justification, we can have this center justified. That means the text is always centered instead of traditionally left justified. All right, I think that looks pretty good. 
Now, when you're all done making the changes to your template, all you have to do is click the orange Save and Exit button that's in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And that is how you make a calendar using Storyboard That. Thanks for watching and happy storyboarding.